This is an interesting new feature. With the latest Firefox build 126, Firefox has decided to add more data collection for its users. And today we'll be talking about how to make sure that this is disabled on your Firefox as a lot of Linux distributions use some version of Firefox as the default web browser. The data collection has been announced in 126. I wanna make you aware of this as on May 14th, 2024, this got dropped. So what's new? If you go down through that in the release history here, we'll notice something that talks about telemetry. It says telemetry was added to create an aggregate account of searches by category to broadly inform search feature development. These categories are based on 20 high level content types such as sports, business, and travel. This data will not be associated with a specific user and will be collected using OHTTP to remove IP addresses as potentially identifying metadata. No profiling will be performed and no data will be shared with third parties. Now, now, even if this data is not shared, it is being gathered with 126 and we should talk about how to make sure to opt out of it if you do decide to use Firefox 126 and in the future, if you're using newer versions, this is now default. So what's changing in the Firefox? It says better insight, same privacy. Well, let's argue a little bit with the fact that I don't agree that it's the same privacy as it is trying to make broad stroke analytics across its entire user base on what they're actually searching for. What are they gonna do with this search data? Well, let's see what Mozilla and Firefox have to say about this. The approach to search data to improve Firefox based on your needs, understanding how users interact with essential functions like the search is key. We're ramping up our efforts to enhance the search experience by developing new features like Firefox Adjust. So to me, it looks like they're trying to utilize this for a very specific tool of theirs. We're going to talk about Firefox Adjust in a moment, but let's continue on reading here so we get a good understanding from their perspective, which provides recommended online content that corresponds to queries. To make sure that the features like this work well, we need better insights on overall search activity, all without trading off our commitment to the user's privacy. Our goal is to understand what types of searches are happening so that we can prioritize the correct features by use case. While this is not necessarily a big deal right now, what happens when Firefox or Mozilla decides that information from search that is clearly key to them needs to be more granular, meaning they need more specific information about every user's search history. And does that mean it will open up the floodgates to future user privacy concerns where they collect even more data and we get stuck in this vicious cycle where they're actually collecting data, not for developing new features, but purely to drive profit. I don't know, but I don't like where this is going. Again, we're gonna get into how to make sure that you can remove yourself from this data collection or gathering. But before we do smash that like button for me and let's talk here about what Firefox suggests is. Is. So for those of you who don't know, this is a feature in Firefox where it tells you, for example here, suppose someone types in Costa Rica into the search bar or the awesome bar, they may see a suggestion like shown in this screenshot here where it suggests a specific website or search item for your viewing. So overall, a cool thing to have, but in the day of AI, I don't necessarily understand why Mozilla even needs this feature. I think with AI, there's probably a better prediction at this point than even using users data on Mozilla Firefox. So it seems kind of weird that they're actually saying in order to make improvements to their applications, they actually need to collect some sort of broad stroke data from its users whenever it already has that predictability from AI, especially since they have their own Mozilla AI initiative. Not sure if that one's in the graveyard already as AI seems to be changing every single day. I do have a video on that if you want to check out Mozilla AI. I'll post it in the description below. But continue Continuing on, this isn't necessarily a new thing. Telemetry collection is a thing that has been built into Firefox for a long time, but mainly this is information that they get about your interactions with Firefox when it comes to the browser, such as tabs and windows, numbers, number of web pages visited, number and types of installed Firefox add-ons, and so on and so forth. But the important part to understand is how do you opt out or delete this telemetry data? Well, that's what we're gonna do next, but before we do, this is not necessarily a new thing in Firefox, but what 126 actually introduces is a different form of data collection, specific to 
the user's search, which is a big deal because there are conglomerates making tons of money off of that type of data. Not saying that Mozilla is going to collect that data to make money, but they want to improve their products. And you can definitely read about Firefox's data collection policy, which I'll also post in the description below so you get an understanding of what they do with all sorts of data collection. But here in my Ubuntu setup, I have Firefox web browser as the default. Because the default browser here is Firefox, you definitely want to go and make sure to check what type of privacy settings you have. You first go over here to the hamburger menu, go down to settings. Then in the settings, if you want, you can use the about colon preferences to get here as well. Go to the left hand side and you'll see privacy and security. If you need to get to this section, look at the URL up top. It says about colon preferences, hashtag privacy. Now what you're looking for is if you scroll down, keep going until you see something that says Firefox data collection and use. Under this section, if you want to make sure that data collection is not in use, which it is by default, unless you set it off, there are three check boxes here that are checked automatically. Allow Firefox to install and run studies. We don't want this. Allow Firefox to make personalized extension recommendations. We don't want this. Allow Firefox to send technical and interaction data to Mozilla, which is probably the most important one that you wouldn't want. With those three unset, that will make sure that they do not collect any data, whether it's for crashes, interaction, or technical data. Overall, I just think it's better to be safe than sorry. It has come to my surprise that 126 is introducing this type of data collection. Let me know what you all think in the comments section below about this type of data collection and about Firefox using this to better improve their products. I get it. We all want to improve our products. The real problem for me is that I don't like it on by default, which seems to be how it's going to be. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe below. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.